Hey Cloud Gamers, so I just got an iPhone 12 Pro and I thought I would try out the desktop only browser to play Stadia. And I must say I am absolutely amazed. The controller still links perfectly and desktop only browser uh, works. If you want to have a look at how to set up this app on your phone, it is an app store free download. So I will put a link in the description below and also to our previous video of what you need to do to set up Stadia on it. But I did discover when I was having a play with the Phoenix demo that picture in picture works and obviously you get this slightly larger picture in picture mode which during some of the longer cutscenes here can be quite interesting so you can just put it to the side and then obviously browse your phone as usual and then because the Stadia controller is connected wirelessly you can skip through these bits but you can also just leave it playing while you are doing other things on your phone you can actually play in picture in picture mode as well but it's probably not the best as it's then a smaller screen on your phone as it is but you can then just expand out the window and carry on playing as before. Oh boy. Not quite. Ah! As you can see, even in picture in picture mode, it performs absolutely flawlessly. In case you didn't see the previous video or you don't go to see the previous video, only the Stadia controller works via wireless. Bluetooth controllers are not functional in this app as it is just a browser that mimics a desktop browser. But as you can see here on the iPhone 12 Pro, it looked absolutely fantastic and plays very well as well. Now I'll leave you with a bit of gameplay before we come back to another trick that I found in the app. So you can actually get to the Stadia menu and other bits and pieces. Odysseus had taken flight to the island of the Siren Song on his mechanical wings. He wore a pair stolen from Circe's weaponarium and massage parlor. You know that Odysseus visited Circe after Polyphemus. But go on. Phoenix was not so lucky. Wingless, she just had to believe. Phoenix hurdled through the air. And then, a miracle. Odysseus's wings appeared on her back. By the gods! I can fly! Those do not belong to Odysseus, and she's had them the entire time. Prometheus. She just had to believe. So to get to the Stadia menu, what you need to do is to close this full screen video window. And when you do that, you can then use the controller button as normal and get to the Stadia menu. And this means that you can get to parties and other bits and pieces. And as long as you press that back to game, it will then start the full screen window again. Obviously you can exit the game as well and then you can go and pick another. If you don't close the window and then press and hold the controller button, it does kind of appear like the browser is frozen and you'll have to restart the browser or click that open button and refresh Stadia. So the Phoenix demo played extremely well so I thought I would see if I could play the Elder Scrolls online as well. And I must admit, on the screen, it does look better than this has captured. This is just using the inbuilt iOS recorder. So it's not doing it full justice, but it does play remarkably well. And Elder Scrolls Online was actually working extremely well. And I was very impressed with how good it looked on the phone. And this opens up a whole new world for playing on iPhone on the move. All you need to do is take your Stadia controller with you. And if you have the Orsley Stadia phone clip, this means that you have got one of the most powerful gaming machines with a camera and everything else in the world right now. 
I will leave you with some Elder Scrolls Online gameplay here on the iPhone 12 Pro with the Stadia controller just so you get a feel for how it really looks and feels as we're playing. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms and I will see you next time.